Well, good Monday morning, everyone. Hope you had a tremendous, fabulous, spectacular weekend. Uh, I know I did. Got to watch my grandkids Saturday night. And then yesterday we talked about what a Live 58 church looks like based on Isaiah chapter 58. There was some inspiration. There was some tears. There was also some celebrating. Thank you for being a part of a church that... Um, and I say this humbly, thank you for caring about those in our world that a lot of times don't get cared for, are overlooked. Yesterday we talked about there are no non-persons uh, in the world according uh, to God. And so in our world, in our lives, there should be no non-persons, but everyone is made in the image of God. Um, if you miss yesterday, uh, watch watch it online on YouTube. You can watch the message only or you can watch uh, the music part and the message because it really talks about from Isaiah 58 that when we're focused in on the things that God cares about, justice and about the hungry and about the poor and about the foreigner, when that happens, then we people of faith will be known as, wait for it, rebuilders will be known as rebuilders, and then God gets the glory. So yesterday had a really great time just celebrating why Live 58 Church exists. Thank you for joining us online, or if you come and see us in person, thank you for being a part of this. And I just want to invite you this next Sunday uh, to our building. If you can make it, you can watch it online too. We're going to celebrate communion uh, this Sunday. We'll do it online, but if you want to come in person, we're going to celebrate and just uh, in these this game-changing attitude series, we're going to take some time at the end of the service to receive communion, to remember God's sacrifice, his covenant to us, and then how he asks us then to go live his love and his grace out into the world. So this upcoming Sunday, this Sunday, we will be doing communion. This week, uh, if you haven't done it yet, uh, read Isaiah chapter 58, which really shows you God's heart for what people of faith should be about and what the church should be about. And most importantly, this week, look for someone to uh, lift up, look to, for someone to encourage. Maybe it's someone to feed. Maybe it's someone to, uh, to just let them know how valuable they are. Maybe this week, come join us Friday at the Orangeville Fair Oaks Food Bank from 9 to 1230 this Friday. Uh, we are running the food bank and getting to serve some amazing people, seniors and just people who are in a space in their life where they need some extra help when it comes to food. What I love about the Orangeville Food Bank is they hand out quality, healthy food, which helps people meet other ends uh, when it comes to other bills and things like that. It's a great time to not only serve people, but get to know uh, one another. That's this Friday. This next Sunday is communion, 10 o'clock at Live 58 Church. And if you have any prayer requests, any needs, uh, just go to info at live58.church, write out your prayer request. We have an amazing team. But thank you for being a part and being a rebuilder. Lord knows we need people in our world that don't tear down, but lift up and rebuild the fabric of our culture and people's lives. So thanks for being a part of that. Uh, hope to see you Friday. Hope to see you Sunday as we receive communion. Have a blessed week. Take care.